now we're in this season together where, you know, my husband's lost his mom mm. and now I got to be there for him. You know what I mean? Mm. And so I think like about those things and I think about how God orchestrates. It's not maybe the story that you would have expected mm -hmm. or thought you would have, but through it, you can definitely see the maneuvering mm -hmm. of where God was planning and taking you and stuff like that. And so I look back now and I'm just so grateful, mm -hmm. you know, with, with mm -hmm. all the loss, mm -hmm. um, there's also so much that we've gained. Right. You just know? kind of strengthened y'all's relationship and oh, built absolutely. it even stronger. And I'm like, bring it. Yeah. We got this. We can do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, mortgage rates go up. Oh, it's, fine. <laughs> it's fine. We've, been through, we've yeah, been through. We've been through. through. Else. That's like, that perspective, on. right? That perspective that people don't yeah. pay attention to. And it is, and and I think like with perspective, like it also gives you priorities, mm -hmm. you know. And I I look back at, you know, in when I was before Andrew was in. The, our field, I know I, you know, was working a lot, especially after my mom passed, because I took a lot of her projects on. And I remember I was running to, you know, different states with our baby who wasn't even one yet, trying to open up these offices, you know, that my mom had already planned to open. And, you know, I ended up getting terminated from, mm. you know, uh, from the company that I was working at, which was family owned. Um, and I just, it made me take a step back that, you know, the priority at that time should have been my family and my healing. Um, but I was pushing, 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 pushing through. Mm -hmm. And so having that reflection and that experience, of course, I wouldn't have had that perspective mm -hmm. unless I would have gone through that. Mm -hmm. um, but it's made me make certain choices that um, my family is my priority, you know, mm -hmm. and everything else can fall into place. Um, but that's my number one priority, mm -hmm. you and, know. And it does put everything in perspective, right? The priorities, like you said, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it makes you more resilient at the end of the day. And that's the challenge with uh, any industry because the clients, and I've said this before, you know, they don't know what you go through, what you've been through, what you're uh, dealing with. And, and yeah. that 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 challenge for us as business owners just to, you know, kind of mask it well. Yes. And, and right. uh, you know, treat them, the customer, as the you're the number one concern right now. But yes. But those rates, like you said, at the end of the day, are, <laughs> doesn't matter. You know, yeah. it's yeah, like, that's nothing. Yeah. Because yeah. like, like she said, perspective. I mean, you know, it gives, allows me to empathize, empathize with other people who had you know, life happened to them, mm -hmm. whether, you know, I remember meeting a lady like th two months later, two months after her husband suddenly passed mm -hmm. and we just kind of sat there and I was like, you know, I'm so sorry. My, you know, my dad, it's the same shoot, you know, I, mm -hmm. I know what you're going through. My mm -hmm. dad lost mm -hmm. his wife of 43 years. And mm -hmm. so we kind of connect, you know, connected over that. I remember, I remember the client, remember her well. And it was, mm -hmm. you know, you, you learn a lot of things about people sure. and you're, you learn like, yeah, we've we've gone through some stuff, but a lot mm -hmm. of people have. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't. You know, a lot of people we know right. have gone through some really tough situations, and I think it's just a lot about your faith and your strength and your and your family and how you handle it and the people that you surround yourself with. That's exactly it, right there. I was about to say. I mean, if you got that circle of friends or yeah. those peers or family members that that are there to support you, that's at the end of the day, it's all that matters. That that's kind of like I talk about circles all the time and having you know, people that you can rely on that you can, that can hold you accountable, that you can mm -hmm. lean on if you're, if you're hurting or you're struggling with whatever, it's so important. And you know, that's what, why people fail a lot of times because mm -hmm. they don't have people to lift them up and it's good, you know, and I hate to, I hate when people sometimes say that no one cares, you know, everyone's got their own problems, you know, because we don't like to complain. We don't yeah. like to, um, you know, bitch about the little things, you know, because at the end of the day, no one's, no one cares like they say, but the reality is there's some harsh things that we go through sometimes. And mm -hmm. so long as you got uh, number yeah. one, each other, which to your point, that helps build uh, and strengthen your marriage. And you have that little circle of friends that you can lean on. I mean, that's super, super important to kind of help you get through that day, mm -hmm. bounce back mm -hmm. the next. So, it yeah. is, it is. Yeah. And I think like, you know, there's obviously maturity as you go through certain situations that you gain from the experience. And then um, I think 
as you process and go through that experience, I think there also is a level of like grace mm-hmm. that you extend to others sure. that maybe wasn't always there. For sure. Um, and then uh, one thing that I've been uh, I've been re- reading a book by Brene Brown called Dare to Lead. And it's a really good book. And she talks about really uncomfortable topics, which mm. is vulnerability and shame and how like those two things, even in a work a workplace, can be very evident. And it keeps people from really becoming their best because mm. people are afraid to be vulnerable and mm. share, right? Mm. Like kind of like what we're doing mm. right now. Mm. And then other people are carrying shame because maybe they feel like they they didn't uh, step up to the plate mm-hmm. and um, maybe somebody called them out and it mm-hmm. wasn't really the most respectful way to mm-hmm. do. And so I think like a lot of those things help have really helped shape me to be like, OK, it's not that nobody cares. Mm-hmm. It's just that I think that people innately were, were self-absorbed. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's just the reality. But I think when you can connect mm-hmm in a genuine way and be vulnerable about it. Mm -hmm. Um, People really see like, oh, wow, like I'm not the only person going through this. Right. 